the office a couple of weeks back, Ma'am Dolly approached me to speak for this event. I was surprised. Though I'm not foreign to public speaking or being on stage, it's different to talk about something that's so personal, so sensitive, and so unknown to me. Many of you may be aware, I am not religious. True. But I'm very spiritual. I have my own set of personal beliefs, and though they may not match with Christian beliefs, I have come to understand Christian beliefs better since I've come to this school. When I moved to EIS in eighth grade, it was the greatest change of my life. I had never faced pathfinder worship songs, or prayer requests before. They were very alien. However, these experiences have shaped my perspective of what I'm going to talk about today. There are two main ideas I have. First, the concept of Sabbath, and secondly, how we gain hope through love and forgiveness. Sabbath was a strange concept to me, and I mean this with utmost respect and dignity. As someone who's not Christian, it is hard to understand why we keep a day aside for God. I used to wonder, is it restrictive? Doesn't it actually take away other opportunities? But I realized how selfish I was, I was, I was sounding. Isn't it strange that we're willing to let go of friends, family, and God for the sake of career opportunities, work, and even wealth? We have forgotten how to live life, especially in this 21st century, when we're working so hard and so long, it is compulsory to take a day of rest. Sabbath is not merely about coming to God. Of course, God comes first and foremost. But to me, I believe Sabbath represents coming to the people you love, the one you want to spend your time with. As God is the greatest love of life, He comes first. I believe Sabbath is about coming together to preserve those friendships, to tighten those knots, and to appreciate one another. Once I understood the essence of Sabbath, I realized how much I was losing to the hurdles of life. Secondly, Christianity offers hope in the form of love and forgiveness. Love and forgiveness can exist in various forms. Just like how a friend picks us up when we're in need, forgets our mistakes from the past, and helps us when we need it, Jesus does the same. Now many of us are not fortunate to have amazing friends. Many of us may be looking for that individual we can rely on. And I believe Christianity offers that hope as a friend. Jesus extends his hand when you need his help. He wipes your tears when you're crying and he celebrates your happiness with you. Christianity is about that love and friendship we can hope to find and cherish in Jesus. I am still not very religious, but I believe EIS has made me spiritual and taught me the beautiful values of Christianity, which I will carry forward with me in life. I will value God, I will value family, I will value friendship, and I will value a day of rest. I will value love and I will value forgiveness, and most importantly, I will carry hope. Throughout my journey in EIS, I have never regretted a single moment I have spent here. I hope on this day we can appreciate this companionship we share amongst us and most importantly with God. And on that note, may God bless you all.